Yes, nu står vi här i AMDs monter och spelar lite på den nya Trinity-plattformen faktiskt. Deras nya DX11 GPU som kommer att lanseras i år faktiskt. Så att vi fick uppdrag här att stå och spela för samtidigt så har vi tydligen lite andra grejer som körs här i bakgrunden. Så att vi ska få en liten presentation här nu om vad som, vad som händer här. So absolutely, what we're showing here today or demonstrating is our new 2012 AMD A-series APU technology and showing the performance capabilities of these solutions. What we're showing you and actually letting you play by yourself is to demonstrate that we are playing in a very high-end DirectX 11 game while at the same time converting video. Typically, these type of heavy or high-end tasks would be relegated to desktop class applications. But in this particular case, we are actually running these DirectX 11 games and converting video on a 2012 A-series mainstream notebook. And not only are we running a high-end DirectX 11 game, converting video, we're also running a movie at the same time and all of it is flawless. Nice. It's really nice. Uh, and here we are playing a bit at the same what, time. What I would also tell you is that if our notebooks, our 2012 notebooks are this capable, imagine what our desktops are capable of. The desktop APUs will run at higher frequencies, both for CPU and GPU, and you have the ability to install an add-in high-end graphics card for an outstanding gaming experience. And we were discussing the performance of these compared to Lano as Absolutely, well. Absolutely, yes. What was the compute power increase? With the 2012 version, uh, the exact equivalent comparisons would be about 50% compute capability increase over a traditional Lano product. And if you look at our 2012 low power A-series solutions, you will actually see about the same performance as you get in a Lano today. Nice, nice. And the yeah. CPU versus CPU performance was, what is it, 25% higher CPU? On the higher end solutions, what you would typically see is about 25% okay. increase on CPU and about 50% increase on GPU. The key here is that the software industry is actually moving to GPU acceleration using DirectX and OpenCL. We want to make sure that we give the best possible engine for that software to run. Perfect. Can you say anything when we will be able to see these uh, chips in you'll products? See, you'll see these products mid-year or so. Okay. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thank you.